Yo, what's up, guys? Today I'm going to teach you how to make a kill, death, and kill streak, and kill death ratio tracker in Minecraft Bedrock using command blocks. First of all, to get a command block, you do slash give at is command underscore block. And then let me demonstrate how the system will work when you implement it. So, the, each player will have a skeleton skull that they can't do anything with. They can't drop it, remove it, or craft it with it. And if they try to move it, it'll... It, um, it'll clear from the inventory. It, um, it'll clear from the inventory. I have, um, you see, it'll clear from the inventory. So they won't get more, more than one and fill up their entire inventory when someone kills that player they get like 10 kills or however 16 plus kills okay so let me demonstrate what will happen if you drop a skeleton skull the player that killed that other player will get one kill one kill streak and one the kill death ratio will go up you see kill streak is going up and then the kill death ratio is going up as well but what happens when that player dies, you say? This is what happens when that player dies. Their kill, uh, their kill death ratio will go down. Oh, hold on, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Their, their kill and their deaths will go up and their kill, kill death ratio will go down and their kill streak will be lost. That's how the um, that's how the kill death kill streak works and this is I'm going to show you how to implement it. First of all, you need a repeat always active, clear A has item um, equals item equals skull, quantity equals two skull. They'll clear every skull, they get more than one. So if they get another one of these, it will be cleared. And then replace, replace our entity at a slot dot inventory zero, skull one zero. And then this part, um, this will be in, uh, in the description. I, um, brackets, quotation, item, underscore, lock, quotations, mode, um, and the lock, underscore, in, underscore, inventory. And then that will make it so they can't drop it or anything. Oh, uh, that'll be a repeat, always active command block. And then you'll need a repeat always active command block. Execute at at e as at wait at at e type equals item name equals skeleton skull run scoreboard players add at p r equals five c equals one kill one. This will be testing for a player in the radius of five and one of them. So if there's two people, it will only count for the person that kills them. And then it'll add one kill. Um, you can change this whatever. You could put like K and then S, but I have it as kill. To make a scoreboard command, you do slash scoreboard objective add kill. Dummy. Oh, if you're um, if you're recently, if you're met, if your chat is being spammed with like nonsense, you do from the command box testing for things. You do slash game rule. Do um command output false. This will make it so it doesn't spam anyone's chat. You see, when I turn it on, it tells you what the commands are doing. But since I'm sending it to false, it won't send it anymore. Um, and then change additional always active execute at, at e. <laughs> Type equals item name equals skeleton skull. Run scoreboard players add at P R equals five C equals one kill streak one. You can once again you can name this whatever. You can do K S or whatever. But 
you do the same thing for the kills to make an objective. And then kill at E, type equals item, name equals skeleton skull. Make sure if you're doing a different item, it's the exact same name. It can't be any different name. If you do a different name than what's on the item, it won't work. Okay. And then re repeat always active scoreboard players add at A. Has item equals item equals skull. Quantity equals zero death one. You'll need a tick speed of 100 on here. So when someone tries to duplicate it, it won't uh, it won't add a death right when it clears from the inventory right when it clears from the inventory okay then chain conditional always active scoreboard players reset at a as equals item has item equals item equals school quantity equals zero skip kill streak that will reset the kill streak or at least you can call it and then this one Repeat always active title raw at a this will be in the description but I just grabbed this in another video oh wait hold on title raw at a action bar raw text then text the now you can put anything here and then um selector text that and then brackets you can put anything there um, and then the, then text slash n kills score name objective kill. That'll list all the kills that player has, but another video I described this, um, I taught, I teach you guys how to use this. Um, but this part is new. This part for the kill death ratio. Um, so basically, KDR, and then score name times objective KDR, and then text, and then this part, and then score name times objective KDR decimal. So I'll add the decimal and the kill death ratio to the same thing. So you'll get this at the bottom 7.625. But, I'll show you how to get that in the first place with these command blocks over here. Uh, repeat, always active, scoreboard player set at a hunter hunter. So, this just objectives add quotation mark, a hunter, and a dummy. And then, chain uh, unconditional, always active, execute at a... a you could put as at A, but doesn't matter. Excuse me. Uh, as at A, run scoreboard players operation. 100, quotation marks 100, times equals at S KDR. Um, I put, I put everything what this means in the description as well. So I can, um, continue finishing this, um, setup repeat always active scoreboard players set at a kdr minus decimals 100 and then chain unconditional always active scoreboard as at a run scoreboard players operation at s kdr minus decimals times equals at s kill And then execute as at a run scoreboard players operation at s kdr decimals divided by equals at s death that divide and equals to death and then execute as at a run scoreboard players operation at s kdr decimals oh once again if you want to learn what these mean i put every single one of these and what they do in the description at s 100 and repeat always active execute as a run scoreboard players operation at s kill death ratio equals at s kill 
And then another one, chain unconditional, always active, execute as that A, run scoreboard players, operation as kill, kill death ratio, divide by equals as death. And then chain unconditional, always active, scoreboard players, add that A, K, kill death ratio, that's most zero. So, um, that's basically how you do it. And if you enjoy this video, make sure you like and subscribe. Oh, check out this merch on the screen. It's from a small business. You should uh, try some out. Uh, link in the description. See you next time.